Oh, hey there, guys. Here, let me grab the camera. I'm gonna. I'm just reading here, going through the new magazine that I got in the mail today. This is the 2016 Forest Wood Cup FLW Bass Magazine. There's a pretty cool stuff in here. Let me show you one thing that I liked in here. Uh, just a sec, guys. That. That looks like a really, really nice engine. I mean, that looks so modern compared to the engines that we have today. And But anyways, the only reason why I'm showing you guys this book is because these are one of my favorites to read and look at. You guys should sign up for some subscriptions and get free... Uh, bass books, Bass Master Classic, and a bunch of other stuff, books. But anyways, I'm just going to talk to you guys today about what I'm going to be doing uh, tomorrow and everything that i got to get ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be going to fish a new lake. The lake's called Cordell Hall. It's in Tennessee. And the lake is a lot different from the lake that I fish mostly year-round, like Center Hill and uh, Dale Hollow. The lake is pretty weird. Like, you go from 10 feet all the way f to like uh, like 20 feet. Like, it's, nev it's not like 70 feet. And that, that's the types of um, lakes that I'm normally fishing in and banks that I'm normally fishing on. 70 foot banks, but it's gonna be a lot better tomorrow, ho I'm hoping, because there's a lot of structure and the banks are not gonna be really really steep steep like rock banks that are going to be like more structured with uh, logs and floating wood and stuff and it's only going to range from 20 to 9 feet in the lake which is a big difference because I'm normally used to fishing 100 feet deep so I'm pretty excited about that so main bait I'm going to be throwing is this tomorrow for sure grub uh, that's actually smoke tail color. Another bait that I'm probably going to be throwing is just a rattle trap. Because I know that there's a lot of shad in there. I know that there's smallmouth, largemouth, uh, white bass. And we're going to be targeting main lake points. If you guys are wondering um, who I'm going to be going with, I'm going to be going with my friend Zeman. Um, he's been in one of my previous videos, uh, the striper fishing video. And we'll probably get up around 6... No, probably 5.45, and we'll probably be out on the water by 6. We're going to be taking out his boat. He has an aluminum boat. Really nice. Um, I'm pretty excited. But anyways, let's get into this vlog. So what we're going to be doing today is I have to get all those rods ready for tomorrow. I'm not really sure how many I'm going to bring. Let me just zoom you guys in because so you guys can see how many rods that is. But anyways, it's a pretty good amount of rods. I'm probably just going to bring 6 maybe. That That's probably way more than 6, but anyways... I'll get back to you guys when I have all my rods ready. Stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. Again, first thing, before I show you guys what I'm going to use, sorry about the lighting, and let me turn off the fan. Uh, where's the remote? Oh, uh, there it is. Let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, I think it's this button. Yeah, there we go. Oh gosh, that flickering in the light is so annoying. Oh. Make it stop. Just a sec. There we go. Hey, tripod's used for something since my camera broke and I can't really use it. But anyways, let's keep, let's make this quick. I need to get to bed, guys. I got I got to get up early tomorrow. But here's what I'm gonna be throwing tomorrow morning. So we're gonna start probably be around probably be at the water around 6:30 first bait I'm going to be throwing is a spook. That's going to be the first rod. Seven foot, medium heavy, fast action rod. Um, and then the second rod I'm going to be throwing is a wacky rig Sanko. I don't ever use a Sanko in lakes really. I normally only use them in ponds. But since we're probably only going to be fishing ten seven to ten feet of water which is honestly guys really really shallow because I'm used to fishing seventy feet of water but if you guys are wondering what color that is that's actually Okeechobee color Okeechobee special color 
and um, the next rod is a spinning reel. I'm sorry, the last one that's actually a medium heavy action rod, um, Sanko rod. I'm gonna call that one. Then the next rod, I'm gonna be throwing a creature bait. It's gonna be just a normal old shaky head with a um, baby brush hog dip tail. Again, guys, sorry about the lighting. And then I'm only gonna bring four total. And then my fourth rod is going to be a Livingston Lord jerk bait. That's what. If you guys hear me, be very quiet. I know I've already, I've never already talked a lot about this bait before. I just, I really like Livingston lures. But let me, let me see if I can get, get the sound going so you guys can hear it. Well, anyways, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, hopefully. So, I'm going to be targeting um, main lake, main lake points. And I'm going to be throwing those four rods in a bunch of different types of soft plastics. My soft plastics are in there and put them in that bag. And then I'll show you some crankbaits that I'm going to be throwing for tomorrow. Probably that kind right there. This is actually dives to six feet, I'm pretty sure. And then another bait I'm going to be throwing right here, guys. This is Center Hill Special. I don't really think I'm going to be throwing this tomorrow. This one actually dives to 14 feet. But that is a center hill gold right there. But what else might we be throwing tomorrow? Uh, maybe maybe even a rattle trap. I might bring... Where is it at? Uh, uh, let me see. Let me find it real quick. Uh, yeah, I don't have it already tied on. Uh, well, anyways, it's a rattle trap. Shad color. That's another thing I'm probably going to be throwing tomorrow. And then jig box. Even though I don't have one of these tied up, I would normally be bringing more rods, but that's just a bunch of different types of trailers. I just put them all in one package. Anyways, here's a few different jigs that I'm probably going to be throwing. Probably green pumpkin tomorrow. And why the heck is that in there? No idea. That's actually a chatterbait. But probably just normal green pumpkin. And probably blue and black depending on the water clarity. But anyways, I showed you guys just a few different baits. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed tomorrow's video. I'll get back to you, with you guys when I'm either out on the water or before we get to the water. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's almost 5.45. My brother's waiting in the car right there. I'll get back to you guys when I get to Sam's Club and I'm with Zeman. We're at Sam's Club now, there's Zeman. He's pulling in the parking lot right now. Thanks for the lot. Oh. Oh, okay, let me get all my stuff out. I'll get back with you guys as soon as we get to the lake. But keep it Zeman. Okay, see you. Okay guys, we're at Quarter Hall Lake. He's backing it up right now. I'm about to unhook it once he gets it closer to the water. Really pretty nice boat. It's actually aluminum. I'm normally used to fishing fiberglass, so the aluminum rod's gonna be a little bit different to me today at least. But anyways, I'll get back to you guys when we're out on the water and at the first spot. But here's some scenic view of the lake. Okay guys, I just got the first fish, let's not lose it. Oh, oh, it's a striped bass. Yeah, uh, this is striped bass. Striped bass right here. Yeah, show, show the picture. <laughs> striped yeah. bass. Yeah. First fish of the day. Finally. So guys, 
I'm actually gonna wait. Let me. Look, look. This isn't big enough. No. Yeah, no, no. Put it here. Wait, is it big enough? A strap bag has no size limit. Just oh yeah. Non, non, uh, non boys. Yeah. So let the people go in this. Hey, as soon as as soon as we said we weren't gonna. So that's the first fish for me. Yeah. So we decided, uh, me and my friend Zeman here, we decided to do something different. Instead of um, fishing points and stuff, we decided to move up the lake a little bit and now we're trolling. I'm actually using a grub and I just hooked up with that fish. So I'm, we're gonna keep on trolling just a little bit. First fish of the day. It's, ta it's been really tough for us. We, we just need to troll a few more times. Okay guys, we just got one more fish. Pretty good size, about like the one that I got. Hope you're all doing well. I literally just now got done editing the Cordell Hall fishing video. It, it overall looks pretty good. Um, it's going to be around a 12 minute video. One of my longer videos. But I just want to stop and take a minute to talk to you guys about what I think about the lake and the baits that I was using to, to catch fish. Unfortunately, we only ended up with two fish. And we were out there from 6.30 to 11 o'clock. Uh, a little bit earlier than 11, maybe 10 o'clock, sorry. Um, and we only ended up catching two fish. We didn't even catch them on main lake points or um, casting along the bank. I actually did a new method that my friend Zeman does a, a lot, quite frequently. I've never done it before just because I do tournament fishing. And really in tournament fishing you don't do trolling at all so that's what that's what we did to catch the fish that we did end up catching two striped bass like I said I don't ever do trolling but he does and we're we got we were successful with just the two fish but other than that the fishing was just tough out there I mean we ranged from fishing between nine and ten foot water most of the day the fish that we caught trolling was in about 13 foot of water I was using a grub smoke tail grub like the one that I showed you guys I'd be using and he was using a uh, crankbait a three to four foot diving crankbait and he caught one fish with it and I caught one fish on the grub overall I mean for my first time fishing Gordo Hall honestly guys I'm kind of disappointed in the lake I thought it'd be a lot better but anyways I just wanted to do a recap on what I thought about the lake and the baits that I was using to catch the fish but anyways thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe